Hi guys. Okay, so I took just a second, just a break, um, a little break, because I'm just, um, the energy today is very, um, feels like shadow work, okay? So collectively we should be probably doing some shadow work. Um, we've got a lot of shadow energy coming in. Um, I didn't even check what the moon was in, but I'm sure that has something to do with it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do Capricorn. And we're going to see um, where Capricorn's energy, the devil card kept coming up. Um, just, it just seems like we're dealing with a lot of like what we, what we really want and what we really desire and either withholding from those things or succumbing to them and not having a proper balance between our pleasures and our responsibilities. But with our pleasures comes responsibility. So that is the, that's the, the devil energy. It's not bad. It's not good. It's just, there's, there's goods and there's, there's negatives, but, um, we can have what we desire and what we want and what makes us happy. Um, but we also have like a responsibility to um, discern between when we're doing something because we want to, and because we are truly like invested in it or we just feel like we have to or it's a habit or toxic or anything like that um energy uh, leaving here present capricorn right away i'm feeling some see it's just been really a lot of shadow today because there is the seven of swords right here in the middle to me this always speaks of either self-sabotaging um this can be the need for shadow work because we're running from something or we're hiding from something um because either we don't want to face consequences or we're afraid of um or, or we we jump the gun and we make choices too quickly because of our fears. Um, there is a feeling here of having not listened to some some intuition here. There's some path forward that maybe was calling you forward, um, and you just maybe disregarded your uh, your inner voice. Um, and now we're feeling like oh. I either screw this up or um, now what do I do? Now we, now there's this feeling of scampering around trying to uh, do damage control. And sometimes we try to do damage control before there's even damage. And then sometimes we're doing damage control after the damage has been done. If that makes sense, Capricorn. Um, and the sword's reversed and walking. So there, there, there fit, seems to be a feeling of avoiding, um, some communication here about some emotions. So maybe before you were being guided to communicate something emotionally or something to someone or uh, something, bring forth some kind of um, emotional effort or emotional communication or action towards something. And it looks as though um, you could have did that. Now this can go either way, you guys, this is a general reading, but you could have did that. And now there's a, uh, Maybe you said too much or spoke too much or did too much or now you're regretting um, what you said or did. Um, I always feel that too with Seven of Swords. It's like, um, and now you feel like there's just, it always kind of feels like something backfires with the Seven of Swords. Like there's this feeling here of um, needing to walk away from old ways of uh, handling. This could be by not communicating, not and this could be just, this could also be manipulation. This can also be um, mental, uh, the king of swords in reverse. You know, that's not in balance and it's walking away from that. So you could be walking away from an air sign also um, or that kind of energy. It doesn't have to be an air sign. It's just that um, kind of unemotional withdrawn energy um, towards emotion, towards something that's more fulfilling emotionally. Um there is a feeling here of nothing moving forward emotionally right now. There's a lot of thinking going on about how to either get out of a situation or get through some kind of um, 
what feels like uh, it feels like fear um driving you forward and that's not always a bad thing you guys seven of swords isn't always a bad thing sometimes we have to um think of really out of the box ways of getting out of things or um to avoid fights or conflict um or just to avoid getting you know and sometimes those fears too the the feeling of oh i'm gonna get slaughtered if I say this or if I do this, it's like damned if I do, damned if I don't. It's kind of the energy I get with that seven of swords a lot of the times. It's like, it's kind of, uh, it's also can be trying to keep peace, um, even against kind of, even against what you kind of want to do. Um, it could be, uh, oh, where there should be some kind of discussion or something going on here, but I'm going to avoid that. Um, avoidance is another thing I feel really strongly with the Seven of Swords. Avoidance um, of conflict. Um, and sometimes we do that just by not speaking our minds or we do that by not being honest or with ourselves or others. Or sometimes we do that just by, um, or we avoid our own insecurities or in our own stuff by um, being overly protective of ourselves. That can be another um, energy of the Seven of Swords. Um, so this is just stuff to look at here, Capricorn. Um, there's this King of Swords here. This page. So somebody's just, I feel like you're, there's a need to walk away here from some kind of, um, wanting emotion from maybe somebody or something that's just not coming forth with that. Either this is you not coming forth with emotion and kind of completely, um, don't want anything to do with something and this could be vice versa this could be somebody else too but not wanting to come forward emotionally not wanting to communicate at least not in a healthy way um not wanting to express the expression is not here um so it's like we can the seven of swords can be sneaking around that too like i really want to tell this person i don't have anything more to say to them i don't want to communicate with them i have no emotional want to go further with this um or i have you know, it's, but it's, it's like, oh, all these emotions, there is a lot of emotions here, um, to walk away from because they just aren't, um, it's unhealthy. I feel like they're unhealthy emotions. Um, maybe at one time they did, did feel right, but something doesn't feel right here in this reading. And that's kind of how they've been doing it. This is how it's been feeling today is like this, um, there's just a shadow energy. It's like shadow work in the air. Um, about what is really, what do we, what do we want? What are we walking away from? And are we keeping ourselves um, hiding from our truths, our emotional truths, or our the truth of where we want to go, or what we envision for ourselves, um, by not being forthcoming? Seven of Pentacles. The lovers and the page of wands. I think this is an energy in the air collectively because I'm getting this. It's like wanting to go after something more passionate, wanting to go after something that provides more balance and more love. Um, because what we're seeing here is not, it's not feeling fulfilling. Um, but there's just only one way to do that. And that's to hit it straight on, not beat around the bush, you know, walk away or, confront it head on. Um, I'm going to clarify this uh, high priestess in the energy leaving. Maybe we can get a little more on that. Something about the past here. Confusion. <sighs> Making a choice here to leave the past behind to move forward so there was there's a feeling here of not leaving the past behind um bringing it with you and taking it with you and it causing a lot of trouble now in your life um maybe um what's on the bottom here yeah that two of wands still at the bottom it's blocking your vision something that you're carrying with you from the past and it could be past regrets it could be past shames guilts fears um, holding you back from being open and trustworthy and um, trusting also. Um, there is a feeling here 
of needing to leave this kind of cold, detached um, energy behind for something emotional here. Um, and choosing a, a loving choice, even if it's a hard choice, it's a loving choice. And it provides a beginning of something new and spiritual for you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get one more of these. Nine of Cups. Reversed. I think there's a lot of people settling for that Nine of Cups that really want that Ten. And that Ten has passion. It has love. It has romance. It has all that, you guys. Um, there's some big lessons being learned right now, collectively, I feel like. So, um... You know, it's times like this that reading cards is rough because every card I've pulled to date has been just dealing with our, our shadow, dealing with our passions and our desires and deciding whether those are bad or good. Um, and they're neither here nor there. You have to learn. You know, we have to learn um, for ourselves what's good and what's negative for us. If we find that it's toxic and bringing devil energy on the split and the world, we're trying to bring it close to that. We're trying to end toxicity, but we still want passion. We still want... Um, we still want desire. We still want all that in our lives, guys. It's just about making it not toxic um, and not controlling. Um, and I think that's something we're all battling right now is releasing control. Um, and going with our desires and with our passions, but not trying to control um, those around us, the, thing, the way things go. Um just really being open and loving to the process so you know if other people are going towards their passions and desires and you're not a part of that then you're not a part of that and we have to accept that it's really hard um when you see people um especially close to you or people you love or people you desire or want in your life moving towards their um passions and their desires and you feel kind of left out or left behind um I think we're dealing with that coming back here in the in the planets. You know, we've been dealing with healing a lot of that and releasing a lot of that. But planetary, we are being faced with really releasing now. It's like really important that we do that right now. Um, we're getting shown again our insecurities and we're getting shown again um, our, our toxic behaviors and our toxic choices and being asked to look at them honestly and be honest about what we want in our lives and go towards that with a passion, with our spirit, with the most <sighs> pure hearted spirit we can, you guys. So Capricorn, that's what I got for you. Um, it's like, I don't know what else to say. It's just been a rough morning with reading. So um, as always, it's so important to follow your intuition and if you didn't do that and you're now feeling like you know there's just too many irons in the fire or something like that it's time to release that it's move forward um we have to walk away from things that are not making us happy and if those things making us not happy are ourselves or our own choices or our own behaviors that's also what we have to do so as always i hope you guys have a good day and i'll talk to you later